Our job is still, though, to be able to be there when an emergency or a crisis happens. It has been a tense year for law enforcement as they face heightened scrutiny, but officers are continuing to train and respond to a variety of scenarios and situations. Tonight, Fox 13's Brian Schnee goes in depth on Utah County's week long SWAT training and how it prepares officers to handle whatever comes their way. Probably the most contentious time I've seen in in my life, definitely as a law enforcement officer of 16 years. There you go. Switch your feet. Hit it. As a member of Utah County SWAT for the last six years, Deputy Ray Ormond is instructing those wanting to learn some of the techniques. So I'm going to drive my eyes first, then my body. Eyes first then my body. 80 hours of physically and mentally demanding exercises over the course of five days. Ormond is training a group of first responders focusing on a laundry list of scenarios such as entering and searching buildings, high risk search warrants, barricade and hostage situations with negotiations and de-escalation techniques. All things that SWAT can encounter on any given day. <laughs> What you're seeing is a lot of the physical training that goes into this, but officers say the most crucial part of the training is what happens up here. Stand easy for a second. Relax, okay? Mental is the biggest part. I mean, if you can keep yourself mentally in the game, you'll be able to get through most situations, and that's what we want to teach our guys, our students. Officers we spoke with say that firing their weapon, let alone pulling out their weapon in the first place, is the last thing they want to be doing. Negotiating and de-escalating is what comes first. SWAT is a life-saving organization. We're not a life-taking organization if we can help it, if that makes sense. Our goal is to show up on scene and have that come to a peaceful resolution using that limited amount of force that we need to to have that peaceful resolution. In addition to being on standby for protests over the past year, SWAT teams have responded to some of their typical call-outs, which involve barricaded suspects and search warrants. Fortunately for Deputy Ormond, he's been able to return home after these tense and dangerous situations. You know, for me personally, I try to listen to some peaceful music. Um, I do carry a picture of my family, and anytime I'm going home, uh, I look at my wife and kids, and it's one more day that I get to go home because I've had friends who haven't been able to. In Utah County, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. In camping off a week of training last night, with the help of volunteers, SWAT teams held active shooter training at Diamond Fork Junior High in Spanish Fork.